Hello everyone, Nina here. Today I am so excited to show you how to create this slim art journal page using some of the fun art by Marlene products. Today I am using this cute stamp set called Home Alone. I uh, did stamp it using my VersaFine Onyx Black Ink, which is watercolor friendly because I'm going to use the brush markers to color it. To color it, I want to use shades that match with this cute toucans that I found in the paper element booklet from the last release. So let's just begin. I'm gonna try to recreate the beautiful colors that Marlene added in that toucan. So starting with the orange, I'm using four shades of orange. For which shades I used, I'm going to leave them in my blog and I'm going to leave the link to my blog in the description below so you can check it. Look how beautiful when I merged everything together. I am trying my best to use the same colors that are on the on the toucan and I'm going to do the same thing with the, his chest. He's got, he has this green and blue colors going on. So again, I did choose the nearest colors to that. I'm going to do the same thing for the rest of the images. Here I'm doing the pinks. She's also using a little bit of red on her pinks. So this is, these are the images once they are all colored. I'm gonna use my scissors and I'm going to cut them, cut all around them. And for the next step, I'm gonna use my sponge blender and ink all around the edges. Can you see the difference on the right is the one that I did ink blend and on the left the one that didn't. So I am going to lightly just dab it in the ink pad and go all around the edges of my images so to remove the white edge from the cutting. Next step is I'm going to color the background and for that I am going to use the Art by Merlin watercolors. I'll spray with just water, the first color that I'm gonna use. I want it to be really diluted with water because I want a just very little glimpse of light blue on my background. I want to leave a white edge all around the, my uh, art journal page and I want the corners to be a little sort of round. I'm gonna show you what I mean here. See, I don't want to follow the square corners of the pattern of the paper. I just want them to be a little round corners. It looks nice against the square uh, corners of the background. The colors that I use to color my images are very bright, so I don't need the background to be bright too, so those images stand out. I'm just dabbing my brush in the paint again and just adding few brush strokes here and there. And then I'm going to come for the green and I'm going to do the same thing, just very diluted, diluted so much with water and add some color here and there. We're going to leave it to dry and then we'll come back. Look how beautiful the background turned out to be once it is dry. And I also brought my white gel pen. I added these few bricks at the bottom. I love this design of the background so much. I was so inspired by um, a user on Instagram. I think her name was uh, Cards by Sue. I'm gonna find it and I'm gonna also link it. And here I did not like the, the blue color of the house that I colored earlier. And I did color it again with yellow. I thought the yellow will stand out against the blue background, but the blue house was not really standing. I have so many images to place over here and I don't want to start gluing any of them permanently before I am sure that everything is where I want it to be. So I am gonna take my time here and create the cluster that I want from all the houses that I colored. And then I'm gonna come with my Art by Merlin sticky glue and I'm gonna take the back most image and I'm going to add the glue at the back and then place it where I want it to be because this is the only one or about the only one I think there is another small house that is gonna be glued directly to the background the others are gonna be backed with foam tape either one layer or two layers of foam tape so it will create a variety of dimension to the art journal page for the roof of this house that I just glued, I am going to just back it with the watercolor paper, which is also the same watercolor paper that I used for the whole art journal page. I'm going to link it down below along with all the materials I'm using today. 
it's in the description below if you want to check any of them also do check my instagram i'll leave it linked down below after finishing the back most the one just in front of it is this blue house i did back it with one layer of foam tape and then back the house with two layers of foam tape same for the toucan i did add two layers of the foam tape and look how everything is amazing look at the dimension on all the houses i am gonna leave images at the end of the video as well don't forget to check them they will show details of the dimensions of all the images here is this is an, a booklet from a previous release i'm gonna also leave it linked down below and i thought adding leaves all over around my images will add a very beautiful touch so here i am adding uh, um, look how easy it is to pop them out from the booklet they're all ready i don't need to do anything more no cutting involved so i thought i'll add some over here and there and then once i place them and i like where they are i'm just gonna add a little dot of glue at the end i want it to fly like that i don't want it to be glued um to the page um the whole the whole leaf to be glued to the page just the bottom of it so it's flying away and it's not attached at the at the tip and then i found that the colors of these leaves are a little bit muted compared to the color that i'm using for my palette over here it could be muted for another project but for this project it needed a brighter color so i'm coming with my yellow acrylic marker and look how much of a detail it made then again with the white acrylic marker i am adding these finishing touches with lines over here and there don't worry if you add these lines they are gonna add really beautiful finishing detail to all your images i'm taking my time i am going a little of uh, speedy here sped the video so it doesn't become so boring look how beautiful it made all the uh, images as if they're shining it makes such a fun difference i then added these strips that i colored earlier under each house so it will give it a ground and i'm gonna cut the, the extra i'm gonna do this for all the houses and for the top one i did try the strip and it just didn't work i didn't like how it looked and then i found this big leaf that i also tried also didn't like how it, because i didn't want two leaves in front of each other on the same horizontal line i didn't like it so when i found this flower in one of the paper elements i just heard click when i put it where it is it just looked so good and complemented all the houses so nicely look how beautiful it is i just added a little touches of pink to make it match with the rest of my colors and then over here i'm adding this branch it's from the recent paper element booklet and then i did print these two coats and added them to a scrap of black paper and then i'm gonna add them just here and there on my art journal they say be original be yourself strongly it's so beautiful and then of course i have to end up with using some of my enamel dots that i love so much uh, they're so shiny and i don't know they add such a nice element um, to the whole art journal page and look how everything looks i love it I also added a couple uh, leaves behind the toucan and this is how everything looks i like it and then i just thought why just leave it an art, an art journal page why not make a whole art journal out of it so i got this uh, black uh, paper and i did punch it with my whole punch and i'm gonna also leave it linked down below and then i thought i'll add the art journal page to this black background and maybe later i'll get excited and create an art journal that i create many pages of the similar size this size by the way i forgot to tell you is 11 inch by three and quarter inch so the black is not showing here i'll get a white background so it shows uh, clearer i cut the black scrap to be uh, the width to be a four and a half but then decided to cut it smaller i wanted to keep the wavy design of my pages that actually happen from water coloring look how wavy the edges are i love it so much and i want to keep it i don't want it to go flat on the black i want the black to stay flat and the white uh, background to stay wavy like this so i did add a line of glue only in the middle vertical line in the middle so it keeps the wavy edges of 
the art journal page raised like this look how beautiful it looks so vintagey i had so much fun creating this page with you guys today thank you so much for joining don't forget to like and subscribe i'll leave you now with the images bye